one? You're obviously confused in the round. You Ruth Bader believe it, you're listening to Slurmcast, a podcast for no raisin. Today we'll be discussing Season 9, Episode 3, Decision 3012. My name is Michelle Burlingame. With me are Tommy Roulette. How's it going? Pete Woodward. That's me. And our guest, Lisa Gaynor. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you're, uh, well, I mean, yeah, welcome, but um, you were kind of a guest of, of this show sort of through a, an, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't unusual, know. unusual way, I guess. It's um, it's not nepotism, but it's yeah, it's close. Whatever, it's fine. whatever. Tom's fiance, <laughs> <laughs> my fiance's coworker. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's just it's circu- so, it's a circuitous route. It's she's, fine. Yeah. She's pimping the. I'm uh, excited. Podcast yeah. also, we so. got fresh blood. <laughs> well, yeah, nor- normally, we're like, who the fuck <laughs> are we gonna get this week? And you're just like, I'll be on. Sure. Yeah, and honestly, like a genuine fan of the show, yes, like of Futurama, like not somebody that this is just, what uh, we want. People wants to be on the <laughs> air. We want to book you. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had uh, a. Rev- a- I really like the intro to the show. We had the Jumbotron back. Yeah, and it was a fun, fun Botron. It was Is that what it was? No, I just that's just what I called it. Well, I, <laughs> with the, with it the, was it like the the beginning of the show integrated with the the intro. Oh yeah, it, like it, yeah. it, it the fake out. It yeah, was awesome, yeah. but also the it was weird talking. It was telephones talking to each other, like old timey telephones scolding the, each other in the Jumbotron cartoon. I it, again. Mm. Lots of drugs, apparently. Just <laughs> there's no like real reason to. It's like, oh, that's weird. But that whole like when they zoomed around and missed it, and then came back in, and then Free crashed, beer. and then beer, then it was beer, a problem. Beer, beer. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Um, they don't they don't mention uh, what cartoon it is in the uh, info sphere. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember there being. I mean, it went by so fast. It was yeah. it was a couple. It was seconds. like I don't remember. Super quick. <laughs> I'm so used to there not being one. That I didn't really. Uh, I just knew that it was the free beer. Free beer. <laughs> <sighs> that's uh, that's always a recipe for trouble. <laughs> just like, by and large, free alcohol leads to. Well, wait till your wedding next month, Tom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You'll find there's going to be a, yeah. You and the 800 people in front of you are going to uh, need a drink. Yeah. Well, I, the weddings make me sweat now. <laughs> <laughs> it's more. It's going to be more of a party. The wedding part's over the day before. Oh, that's smart. I mean, not as smart as not doing it, but still good. Um, and you'll make everybody go to church, so that's nice too. Church. I'm just saying, I, like that's always better. What? When you don't have to go. Oh, to when you don't church. have yeah. to make somebody go to church. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. It's, oh. Um, I liked the. So as Bender jumped out of the ship after the free beer. He hit that flock of birds. Mm-hmm. He hit Coward Man. He hit the, the tube full of people flying. And smashed the, it. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, like, I, at the same time, he never seems to pay for beer. Any, like, I guess he just steals things when he wants it. So beer is always free for him. Is yeah. it just? Well, he's fueled by alcohol, too. So yeah. that's like free gas. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but it, it, I get. I mean, they had to have a reason for it anyway. Of course, it's Nixon behind it, and it's a political rally. Which I mm-hmm. think isn't it illegal to give away drinks for like, probably for politics. Like, you, like I thought they used to give out like shots of whiskey at polling places <laughs> back in the day, or they'd be like, "Hey, oh. go on, who'd you vote for?" Or I voted for your guy. Maybe the voter <laughs> turnout would be better if they started doing that again. Well, the, it yeah, is we should try that. Primaries <laughs> are supposed to be on St. Patrick's Day this year. That is true. Really? <laughs> I don't think I they should no move idea. it. I don't think they should move it. I think they should uh, just move the polling places to the bars that people are going to be at. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of polling oh, that goes on no. on St. Patrick's Day anyway. Um, so, I guess the whole conceit, I, I really, just before we get too deep into it, 
the parallels with this episode and current events oh, just yeah. fucked me up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's funny. Becca texted me right when I got here and asking, uh, had mentioned that Lisa was like, uh, just uh, blah, blah, blah about how p- political <laughs> to get. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, it's not going to be a problem. <laughs> just whatever. <laughs> I've, shoved, I've shoved that foot in my mouth hundreds of times. <laughs> and we've only done 112 episodes. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot. Um, yeah, so I guess, like, Nixon running for president of Earth again. Have they said how many terms he has? I mean, he's been president since... No, he, uh, hasn't, he hasn't been president since he came back because there was a different president that got zapped before. But do they have a limit there was on president. the president of Earth versus the United right. States? I, yeah, I don't know. I thought the same thing, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, he's been... A, I remember when he got elected the first time again, right? He took over after President McNeil, I think. Yes. Um, but that's, that was, he's been in there for like 12 years yeah. now. So maybe it's, I mean, since it's Earth, maybe it's like doubled, maybe eight years. They have years. no limit, maybe. Yeah. Well, if people are theoretically immortal, I mean, he's a head in a jar that's <laughs> thousands of years old. Right. So like, really, it could go on forever. But um you know, he's just, he's giving out the free beer and then immediately goes into the illegal aliens taking the jobs. <laughs> and he's going to build a fence across the southern edge of the solar system to keep them out <laughs> and then cut taxes for the rich and use the teeth of the poor for as a cheap source for aquarium, aquarium gravel. gravel. That'll show those poor. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so Fry, Fry is like into it immediately. And it and it just it strikes on this whole thing, and it it's like, it's it's how people get tricked into voting against their own interests because it's like, well, I'm not a millionaire yet, mm-hmm. but I could be as soon as I hit the lottery. Then or, people like me better watch their step. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And and it, like it's just it's. This was what uh, seven years ago. And it could have been yeah. 20 years ago. It could have been, it could have mm-hmm. been two years ago. Fuck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just the fact that it's like, like so many times in these later seasons, this, this stuff has just been so dead on, and it's scary as mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. The fact that he's in, encouraging the hatred of yeah. the, the poor people to hate the poor people. I mean, mm-hmm. what's well, happening? And, <laughs> yeah. and that it was preposterous enough that it was thought like, oh, this he's going to build a wall across the sol- south border of the solar system. <laughs> that would never happen. And then it's like, oh, shit. Here we are. Um, so there was an issue with Bender's exploding chest cavity. He filled himself up with too much free beer. Well, because <laughs> there's a part where, you know, was that Isaac? Nixon, yeah, it was yeah, Isaac. Was doing the uh, Nixon says, we have enough beer for everyone. And then like two seconds later, he's like, we're out of beer because Bender like split the, the hose, hose and was perfect. just the hose from the gigantic keg <laughs> was just going straight into Bender. Oh, have, have you ever imbibed or eaten anything in that manner? No. Like straight out of a spigot? To think about that. I don't think so. I, does, I don't. does whipped cream count? Sure. Oh, then yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, then, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, or like... Yeah, I, absolutely. Uh, I f- it was, was it... Uh, a cheese whiz? Cheese uh, whiz. Can- like, or just, yep, you know, like, like, like straight up drinking out of a box of wine, just letting gravity oh, do the work. I mean, I've, I don't like box wine, but I've seen people do that. You've seen me do that. There's yeah. photos. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> There's photos of me doing that. I don't think I've ever had boxed wine. But I guess I have drank out of a keg straight, yeah. Did you that's did, a, did that's you the headstand? That or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it would be like having a gravy hose or something. I just it it's sickening. It'll certainly make you barf like pretty quickly, but <laughs> it has a, a like kind of a Roman decadence to it that's really sort of appealing. <laughs> Not to anyone else, but like it gives you a warm fuzzy. So I can understand where Bender was coming from, but like, you know, he filled up his theoretically empty. He like expanded himself. Thing. Right. It, it, full of beer and then yeah. blew up with no consequences. Um, and then he, he snags the line from the professor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good news. Good, <laughs> good news, everyone. Uh, <laughs> that was more of a hand Cause kill. he fixed himself with, uh, yeah. Nixon stickers. Oh, it was yeah. it ass stickers. <laughs> He was stickers. convicted, sentenced, and executed. 
Is it, it? I mean, I feel dumb not knowing this for sure, but are you not allowed to vote if you're a felon? Period. You can't. Well, or is it depends. state by state? It's state, it's by, state, state by state, and then there's this huge thing right now, again in, in Florida, yeah. happening <laughs> right now, uh-huh. where they're trying to make it easier because right now it's like impossible for convicted felons to get back their right to vote because you can, depending yeah. on the, what state you lived in, blah blah blah. So it's it's like a, this big huge thing because there are people who have like turned their life around and they they've become like church leaders and whatever and Was they're it, doing I mean, good to be things fair, for the community. Different kind of crook, but go on. Well, I'm saying I'm just saying like <laughs> they may might not be one of the crooks, but yeah. you know they're they're they've turned their life around and they're doing good things for their community and whatever and they want to get their rights back and yeah. they're just being denied for no reason and it takes like five years to even get like your court date scheduled oh. to, and then you have to argue why you're a good enough person to get your rights back and you're living in florida <laughs> already so like it's it's crazy oh. in, in the great state of ohio individuals in prison for a felony conviction are ineligible to vote Voting rights are automatically restored upon release from prison. People on parole and probation can vote. Really? Ex-offen- ex-offenders should re-register to vote. Huh. huh. We're, pro- we're progressive about something. Mm-hmm. Who knew? 20 states allow convicted felons to vote. Well, that's something. Um, that's, uh, I, I mean, <laughs> the, the work I'm sorry, they- 20 states do not allow... Uh, that sounds about right. Mm. Actually, that's, that's... That's even better, because... <laughs> yeah, that means more of them do. <laughs> or worse, depending on your opinion. <laughs> uh, well, if you're voting for Nixon, you are allowed to vote again. As yeah. long which, as you vote for Nixon. <laughs> which seems like exactly this sort of thing mm-hmm. would be happening now. Like, that'll be that'll be the next one. Um, but I like that they... I mean, actually, while, while we're recording this, there's the second round of Democratic debates starting up again. Mm-hmm. Um, Tonight? Yeah. Mm. I just I can't <laughs> I can't watch it in real time. I've got to get the digest I afterwards. To, I do too. Yeah. Because it's just I it's, just like seeing what people say on Facebook. That's how I'm gonna vote this <laughs> oh year. <boy. laughs> there's, there's a there's a recurring like like the hard times is basically just running away with Beto O'Rourke now, and it's the best thing ever. I like, uh, I heard that uh, I heard um uh, fucking what's his name uh in, info. Uh, wars, oh, Alex Jones. Jones. yeah. I heard him say it's there. Uh, meme wars coming, so it's gonna be a meme <sighs> oh. election. Well, it, uh, it's I mean, it's gonna be the, all ruled on memes, so I'm just going by memes. Then, mm. but, but the Beto <laughs> O'Rourke stuff is like there was one where he's like, he's he's you know, they 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 keep trying to position him as like the punk rock guy, but he's he's really sort of like centrist and, and a little bit right, so it's like, mm-hmm. you know, he, uh, Beto is frantically trying to reconcile his, uh, you know, like his favorite band's hatred of Reagan with his policies. He's like, these guys really hated Reagan. But, it, I mean, it kind of makes sense. And there's another one today where it's like, I bet you guys will, will uh, bet I won't jump off of this house into the pool. <laughs> like, it's just, <laughs> like all this stuff where they're just kind of making uh, this character. Wait, wait, times. wait. It's not Beto? I, don't, Beto, I think it I is Beto. Whatever. Okay. I think I it's a know. nickname regardless. I right? don't know what it's a nickname for. I was just thinking about that earlier today. Like what? What is it? I mean, short I, for? I, I, yeah, and I think he. I, I, I have no inclination to ever vote for him. I think he's a plain piece of white bread. But <laughs> but <laughs> if know? anybody could get Fugazi <laughs> to reunite for an inaugural, you know, the inauguration headlined by Fugazi, it would be him, right? Is he like a John Jackson or a Jack Johnson? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's just he's younger. So he's got a little more. I mean, like the guy name checks like the descendants and stuff in his speeches. Like he he used to be in a punk band back in the day, but he's he's a centrist, you know, Democrat. So it's not like he's super lefty leaning or anything. He's How just does Jello Biafra feel about him. How does Jello Biafra feel about anything anymore? I don't know. That's how that's how I'm going to vote this year. What would Jello do? <laughs> <laughs> Again, referencing the hard times. Man on flight treated to a five hour freak spoken word concert by Jello Biafra. It's just a picture of him sitting next to him on it. I, I love the hard, hard times. times. Are you familiar with Jello Biafra? I'm not. Oh, he was in a punk band called the Dead Kennedys. Oh. Oh. And he got very political. He's always been political. He's always been already, political, but, but he became a, a scapegoat for censorship in the in the late eighties and kind of 
transition that into a, a spoken word career. And I mean, okay. rightfully so. Like he got fucked by the government uh, over dumb, dumb bullshit because somebody didn't like H.R. Giger art on his records. And it just, it, it's a whole, you know, if, if you want to look up ways that the government has wasted ridiculous amounts of taxpayer <laughs> funds over shit that ultimately doesn't matter, he's a good person to, to look for that. Um, but they, so the League of Extraordinary Women Voters is the housing for the, the debate, was that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, With, so um, Chris Travers, who is the, yeah. oh no, well, no, no we've got, we're, we're, Yeah, but Morbo's the, uh, the moderator, which was yes. awesome, <laughs> because he was very, very matter of fact, and, and what, he, was he like, I'm going to refrain from berating you or something, like, what, what, he says something at the very beginning about, like, because time is short, I will refrain from... Uh, he will dispense with the informal terrorizing and begin the questions. Yes. <laughs> he's, and he's, just, but he's got the glasses, and he's, he's like, doing yeah. the... It was beautiful. It's debate 3012, the 3012th debate of the 3012 <laughs> election year. <laughs> uh, exactly. While I was watching that, I sat there, and I was, like, trying to actually figure out the math of what it would have been if it was, like, every four years... And I could, I just, it, then I was like, oh shit, I got to pay attention I mean, to this episode. I mean, <laughs> basically like 250, give or take a couple. And you yeah. take a thousand and divide it by four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so. A thousand. Yeah. <laughs> We're a thousand years in the future. Every four years you get a new president. But there's, but there's, then there's another. Three. 300 years. <laughs> 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 Well, the anyway. environment, yes, yes. or no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, I, so I was trying to figure out who the candidates were supposed to be. Obviously, there was the one that was Sarah Palin. Mm -hmm. It was just, where I come from, we have a saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Uh, I remember when she was just like an innocuous, oddball late night guest before she became a real politician. Mm -hmm. Like, she used to just show up on the late show with Craig kill bar Craig uh, Ferguson and she was fun then it was before it was like oh she's an unhinged lunatic that has a uh, you know bunch of people behind her that's scary um, and a, was it is is trip her son or is trip her husband don't they all have names like trip and trapper trip and, is her husband tracker okay. tracker tra trace track I don't Tractor. know Bristol <laughs> Bristol, <is> Bristol. <laughs> Bristol is the daughter um, mother to several legitimate children just as a, a good fundamentalist would be I, it's just, it's the hypocrisy of it. Yeah, but then her daughter got teen pregnant. Yeah. I, just, I just love her one quote. I want to say it was people, but I don't remember what it was. But it was like, if people knew what happens when you have sex, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> that's exactly why Babies people come do from have sex. sex. Yeah, that's, that's what sex education is for. And that, and... What happens during sex is why people have sex. That's kind of the whole... I mean, it's called a biological imperative. But here we are. So um, have, have I been the only person thinking this whole time we've been getting all these Democratic candidates that uh, Pete Buttigieg is... Senator Travers, because <laughs> that's that's kind of all I can think. Is that when how I it first, said? Because I, I thought first, it was butt gig. No, it's Buttigieg. Is it? <laughs> yes. I like butt gig better. Edge, edge. But okay. Buttigieg. Yeah. I should listen to people talk sometimes. Just <laughs> Beto butt gig. <laughs> <laughs> Beto um, butt gig 2020. Yeah. I'm telling yeah, you right so, now. He, uh, Bernie Buckey. <laughs> uh, Bernie Buck. When I first saw Pete Buttigieg, I was like, he's a time traveler. <laughs> he's a time traveling <laughs> Oh my mayor. God. He's a yeah. time tra traveling mayor who's here I, to save us from. I'm not even familiar with this. From candidate. Donald Trump getting reelected. He's, he's the mayor of North Bend, Indiana. <laughs> he is openly gay and he's 35 years old. And he's a, he's, he's like a, a he's decorated a army runner. veteran. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't like him because I'm 35 years old and I am <laughs> nowhere near as successful as that. <laughs> he speaks five languages, I think, something yeah. like that. Yeah, he's, fluently. He's, he's Screw like him. The kind of person you'd like to be president. I'm going yeah. as, like, as the con Perfect. to show that we're I'm not. I'm telling you, we're, I'm going with Grandpa Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from, from from Willy Wonka, <laughs> the guy who was bedridden for 20 years. No, he the guy who he pretended to be bedridden because yeah. he's a lazy oh. asshole. Oh wait, and you then meant the second Charlie comes home with that golden ticket, he's up and at it. Oh yeah, but I it's can't true. do the laundry. Oh, you mean Joe Biden? Yeah. Oh. 
I, I, yeah, I, sorry, I, I didn't follow you. The, the, when you say Grandpa Joe, that's the first one. I, I know, like, but... Burp, Charlie, it's the only way! <laughs> <laughs> um, there, was, there was something else. Like, who, who were the other ones supposed to be? I kind of feel like the first guy might have been a Steve Forbes analog. Um, but if this was happening in 2012, like, it, I mean, Sarah Palin would have been one of those candidates. Um, mm-hmm. Who was the second guy who was uh, two words? Condor attack. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want yeah. that. <laughs> Gotta Don't say no. I feel like he was like a, a Jeb Bush kind of guy or yeah. something. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, I, this uh, just while we're on the subject of butt gig before we lose it. Um, I, this happens almost, almost every time I fly, and it just reminds me of it. Um, there's a golf company mm-hmm. called Titleist. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And every time I get on a plane, there's some dickhead in the Titleist hat or shirt or something. Uh-huh. But I've They're always... They're a large company. I've always, always, always thought of it in my head as titleist <laughs> because that looks like the German pronunciation of it and titleist isn't a fucking <laughs> word. So I just... And it happens every time and it's like, I know it's wrong, but it's it's so, so right. And it just... You, you're, you got a titleist hat on, you dumbass. <laughs> um, I think of entitleist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... I mean, we should just go around and like stick little stickers that say E-N in front of it. And you're like... <sighs> well, Senator, yeah. <laughs> Senator Travers... Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Travers, uh, Lila goes to his... Um, uh, what do you want to call it? I, I'm blanking on the campaign word. Office? Campaign office. Campaign office. Oh, she's what I'm charged saying. up. She gets yeah. like, so, politically motivated <laughs> immediately. Trevor's for president headquarters, formerly one hour hot dog. People <laughs> will wait. Vote Trevor's for president uh, for a less bad tomorrow. <laughs> Trevor's for a less bad tomorrow, I think, might be one of they my favorite. They should make a hat of that. Yeah. Well, but I, it just, we skipped like, over it also, real quick. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. One hour hot dog. What is he cooking it over a fucking yeah, sixty watt light bulb? Yeah, he had one of those like bulb? roller, <laughs> like know. the gas station roller things. <laughs> it's one still that doesn't take. It yeah. doesn't take sixty minutes. You know, hot dogs don't take sixty minutes, but quality does, Tom. That's you could technically about. eat a hot dog straight out of the package. You could, but I, it tastes better. Can and I have. For- <laughs> 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 With it, at the start of the night or at the end of it? Uh, when or, I was a kid. <laughs> just, it's, I mean, it's basically yeah. just tube bologna. I mean, it's fine. Just fully cooked. Yeah. Um, the one thing that we didn't really talk about, though, is that like every time they asked, Morbo asked a question, um, Senator Travers answered with a very like logical, thought out response, yeah, and, and everyone just boos. yeah, soundly booed, <laughs> like which is so. Oh, God, it's where we are, and it scares the fuck out of me. Well, let's just, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the reputable scientist. <laughs> 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 like, even louder, just, it's like, we can't, we can't reduce these into, like, quick soundbite questions. They're complex things. Boo! <laughs> and he's just, like, getting shouted down, but, uh, yeah, so that's, she's at his office. Also, when it was formerly the one-hour hot dog, but still had the one-hour hot dog in it. It was, was his, it was like campaign, his manager. campaign manager. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have hired the guy from One Hour Hot Dog. Oh, I kind of want hot dogs now. Damn it. <laughs> um, so, but it was, she, she walks in and he's destroying his own shit. Like he's so disheartened. I felt mm-hmm. so bad for him. Um, so Leela, Leela posts his debate video to Facebag. Right. Which is <laughs> the, uh, their Facebook, I guess. Facebag. I kind of like it. But he's getting a bunch of views. He has 10,000 views on Leela's video that she just uploaded. So he hires Leela to be his, his PR manager for his campaign. And she's like, oh, I, that's what I put this note in about because it was 2012. Is Trevor supposed to be Dennis Kucinich? I don't know. I don't he kind of so. looked like a little I bit. I mean, to, uh, the hair. Is yeah, he just supposed to be it, Trump? Or not Trump? Um, Obama because of I the mean, yeah the Kenya thing. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, they definitely worked that in. But I think like when he isn't talking about UFOs and veganism, I think a lot of the the, the positions that Kucinich would take would kind of lean on that yeah. side. I think he was just a conglomerate of a lot of reasonable different. stuff. Holding up a picture of Pete Buttigieg right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's yeah. pronounced butt gig. It's not. It's Buttigieg. I want to see his he birth is, certificate. He is, he is Senator Travers. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, he's a time traveler. Okay, so he's here do, to save us. Do you think he saw this episode years ago and realized that that was him? 
or maybe we should write him a letter and ask. We should. We could get on the debate. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Are you a time traveler? I That'll think go over well. Something's going to happen within the next few years that they had to send him back to the yeah to yeah. our time to yes. run and win. But you know, as we see at the end totally of this episode, the episode, that, yeah. episode we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there, but I mean, we're kind of getting there already. It's Jesus. what's his name? Travers. Pete, Pete, Pete Ballgag. Bud- Budajed. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. So I mean, what Saturday Night Life comes back in September? That's really when I'll choose what who I'm going <laughs> to vote for. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Good old SNL. I don't. I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to vote for yet. I got it narrowed down. There's, I got a top look, five. Every, every, literally every person during the 2016 election said the entire cycle, there's no way that Trump can get the nomination. There's a, I yeah. mean, so basically, and then people, I'm going to wait until November of 2020 to decide who I'm going to vote for because any fucking thing could happen. And wasn't now wasn't and it also Trump the one that, like, spearheaded the whole uh, birther movement? He was. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. He yeah. was the one that said, I want to see Obama's mm-hmm. birth certificate. Mm-hmm. Because he's... he's <laughs> A racist, media fueled, narcissistic asshole. Yeah, <laughs> basically. But he's the least racist person on this earth. Oh, I mean, <laughs> except for the fact that he hates all people of color and poor people, and basically or anyone who is anybody who isn't white and male. And him, yeah. <laughs> um, it's it was just oh god, it was so so weird watching this 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 whole episode. Um, I guess it was just, it was weird. So, so Leela just kind of goes to town, like working for Travers and making an impact, and they go to the Thundercrats convention. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I want that to be a political party. A thund- yeah. I want to be a Thundercrat. Sounds better than the Tea Party or the, you know, whatever, or the Green Party or whatever. It just, mm-hmm. It's like it's a catchy name. That's half of the battle is branding. Mm-hmm. You know, if you, could, if you could tap into the zeitgeist of the, of the youngsters... You know, people just need to stop taking politics so seriously and then oh. see what happens. Wait, we already saw we, what happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, wait. <laughs> Didn't that just happen? Oh, God. <laughs> this, we're all going to wind up, like, just morose at the end of this one, I think. It's a bad scene. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, <laughs> the thing I loved about the nomination process, though, is they've got the, the candidates standing on there. It was, like, Greenland... Um, Travers was from Hawaii, again yeah. an Obama nod. Yes. Um, somebody, but like the one of the other guys, like there was an like old timey looking guy who was from like Hackensack or something. Um, and then I think an, an alien wasn't there. So, I mean, who were the? There were four of them. But anyway, they announced the, the runner up, and they go, "This is the runner up nominee who who will get the nomination if the winner is found with a dead girl, a live boy, or some sort of sexy ghost." <laughs> 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 which, which is true, unless the fucking oh god, damn it! I hate him. <laughs> well, we we missed an, a good part that I wanted to bring up, which is when um, Senator Travels Tra- Travers simuldined in two hundred and fifty diners at this once pie via hologram. Is the best pie. <laughs> this pie the- is the best pie. <laughs> is the best diner pie. <laughs> Now I want diner pie too. <laughs> yeah. And I love how he just scoops through it and it's just yeah. a hologram. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> um, no, I, I, and I mean, being as old as I am and having watched this shit, I still don't understand what the whole like New Hampshire and Iowa deal is. Is it just like these are the good old home folks that kind of predict stuff or it's because they're the first primaries, so that's where uh, they go. I think throw Iowa it caucus yeah. is like one of the first primaries. It is. So it's like, it is the first that's, primary. Yeah it's, yeah, it's how they kind of determine who's going to be continuing in the race and then eventually who's the nominee is whoever wins these caucuses and initial primaries. Uh, like the person uh, voted lowest in the Iowa caucus, you're pretty much, you know that you're, yeah, you you're, got you're nothing. Done. <laughs> you're you get done. kasinich'd. <laughs> yeah. And then, but then every once in a while you get that oddball like Howard Dean where you just go Rawr! at a rally and all of a sudden your career's over instead of like bragging about sexual assault. Right. I feel so bad for him. He was, it was a yeah. sound clip that ruined his ah! political career. And he was so excited. <laughs> like, I know. Just in what world do we live in that like a man excited about politics is like made fun of mercilessly until he quits. I think you know what, <laughs> like I, I think you know what world we live in. 
it's a fucking hellscape. It's 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 a dystopian future. But which would you in. which would you prefer? A man being excited and having to quit because of how excited he was, or a man who brags about sexual assault oh, and I'd still pref- wins the presidency? Uh, I'd prefer the guy who can experience joy, even though I don't know what that is. Uh, also, a president that pronounced Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's uh, beautiful. It just makes it, it rolls off the tongue. It sounds perfect. We love Puerto Rico. <laughs> um, well, I guess in, in the absence of a dead girl live boy, her sexy ghost Travers mm-hmm. goes ahead and wins the nomination. It was, it was nice. Just, uh, just a lot of uh, hope. I like when you can feel hope. Is that like the end of the it. first act? Or I is, think so. I think so. Just trying to figure out where we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it, it, it cuts to Bender offering to help Nixon to play dirty just because he wants to sow mayhem. Mm-hmm. Well, he doesn't even have a dog in the race because... Is it, is it robots can't vote or just felons? Unless they're voting for Nixon. I, I thought, no, like, it was just felons, felons. can't vote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and robots then, can and vote. And then Nixon reinstated that. As long as, long as, as they voted vote for Nixon, <laughs> for Nixon. <laughs> for Nixon. right? right. Uh, oh, it is. It, oh, but it was Leela's insightful nagging that convinced everyone to vote for Travers. Yeah, which is, mm-hmm. that's pretty much on brand for her. <laughs> um, I I didn't get the line when uh, oh, Fry says you explained his positions in a way even an idiot could understand, and that appealed to me for whatever reason. <laughs> 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 uh, um. With with Nixon, he's talking about old fashioned Quaker thuggery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is Nixon a Quaker, or was he raised a Quaker? I have no idea. I took that to mean like anything that has anything to do with sexuality, like make it a, um, you know, a big deal and a negative thing against that person. Like you just run a like you went to the went to the strip joint and like photoshopped pictures of, oh, of Travers's <laughs> head on it. The, <laughs> ev- the evening nudes. The evening nudes. <laughs> oh Nixon was a Quaker. Oh. All Interesting. Right. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. Nixon what? Nixon's first cover up, the religious life of a Quaker president. Interesting. He covered he tried to cover that up. I didn't know he was. A, I guess it worked because I had no idea yeah. he was yeah. a faker. <laughs> uh, maybe all of the other horrible, horrible, horrible shit he did overshadowed the fact huh. that he was raised as a pacifist r- religion person. Um, <laughs> but the... the uh, what's... Uh, oh, God, what is it? It's Travers is in his office. He goes, what's that rifling sound? <laughs> like Bender's going to this <laughs> um, yeah, so what? It, what is it? he? He looks through the files. He's trying to find stuff. It, he starts with um, N for nudes. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay, the so Nobel found a Nobel, pr- Nobel Prize. <laughs> that was the thing about this whole episode that just it it made me wonder about it because all of the files were on paper. Yeah, a I thousand also years in the future. wondered yeah. about that. I, th- my second watch through tonight, I thought about that in a later part of the episode that we'll get to. Yeah, but it, I mean, both both here and later, just like, wait, wait, I mean. Paper files. We don't even have paper files today. We're, we're a thousand <laughs> years in the past from them, and I work for a company that sells stuff to get rid of paper files. Like, yeah. it's that's <laughs> what I do. Um but the, the, when he's in there and he's trying to hide when he disguises himself as a urinal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and collects apparently a, gets used. Yep, it collects a great urine Because every other one was mm-hmm. out of order. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like... One hour hot dogs really slipping. <laughs> oh, well, they don't have the business to pay a plumber. Mm-hmm. People aren't willing to wait for, for quantity. Um, the, the, the pun on evening nudes was fantastic. But mm-hmm. then when he goes to meet Big Throat... <laughs> <laughs> in the parking lot. So we get a hedonism bot thing, uh, a cameo, and he's he's just so wonderful. It's just like, do you want to know his nasty little secret? He's clean. And it's just, but did you just lick my ear? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I don't have a tongue. Good, because I don't have, I have an ear. ear. <laughs> um, he's clean as a freshly waxed buttock. <laughs> Oh, and then we get into the meat of it, right? Uh, his middle name is Zaxar. Yes. Which sounds like an alien name. So he's it clearly does. an alien. 
A lot like Obama. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where his middle name was Anthony. And he sounded like an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> That's not what I remember. I thought people hated Italians. Isn't that what that it's, was it's all that was about? Wait, no, it started with an H. Wasn't it uh, Barack <laughs> Hitler Obama? Clearly <laughs> <No. laughs> German. <laughs> yeah. I, the Jerry's. We all know what it was. <laughs> oh God. Um, but it's just, it's like such a classic dumb thing. And again, we've seen this shit play out. It's like, I feel a jowl movement coming on with a, (laughs) it is beautiful. Like I I think about that Nixon noise often actually. Yeah. And I, in, in, under under what quiet, like time of my own and when no one's around, I'll do it. (laughs) So you're just sitting at home quietly relaxing and the animals are going about their business. You're just, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the great chase of Charleston Chew. What do they, what do, they do? <laughs> what do? What do your 17 pets do? I don't know. Most of them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Um, Wait, I'm way down on pets, man. I lost like three in the last... Uh, oh, look, that's what happened. No, you, four in the last... When, less you, than a when year. you have that many, it's like kids. If you've got that yeah. many, it's, yeah. it's eventually they're all going to go. <laughs> a couple up, a couple down, it's... Yeah, you, it's a crunch all you want. We'll make more. Um, so, you can't. <laughs> I know. Lucky me. Um, that whole that Ruth that Ruth Bader Ginsburg thing with the, you, you Ruth, Ruth Bader, Bader believe, believe it, it was beautiful. Yes. But then then when they went to where were they at? Where they had Scoop Chang from Fox quote unquote news. It's the same same place. So it was like a press conference, and Bender okay. Bender brings Ruth Bader Ginsburg in his chest cavity because only Earth people can, can become vote. Earth can president. Uh, and then he says, "Isn't that right, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg?" And then he opens up his chest cavity, and she's inside. It wasn't really her, was it? No, um, I think it was Tress McNeil. Okay, I mean, nope. also- no. Or yes, maybe. Ooh, ooh, Ruth huh? Bader Ginsburg? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The voice? Oh, I don't know. I think it was Tress McNeil. It might have been. Um, um, no, what I was going to say is, though, it's funny. Like, Trevor, he was sen- He was a senator, so he made it to senator without anyone worrying about anything. Because you, be, you can be a senator without being... Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was a governor. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. Without, you oh, know, never mind. It's, it's just... The, just president. The pr- because here's the thing. If you're born in another country and you come to this country and live here for a lot of years, once you get to be the president, you might be a foreign fucking agent. Oh, wait. (laughs) (laughs) You don't have to be born foreign to be a foreign agent in the presidency. Shit. Everything is awful. We're all going to fucking die. Um, Yeah, yeah, but but that's what it was. I mean, I think initially the reason they put that into the Constitution was like they... (laughs) You could, you could you could just come over from wherever because we still wasn't that people. like one of the mm-hmm. first things in the constitution. That's right? I mean yeah, it's part of that. It's like one of the first. I amendments. think it's Not one, one of those of the first amendments, but I don't know. Let's sit here quietly while we all let's, look let's, up let's, the constitution. Let's, do we have any it? listeners that are experts so, on constitutional? Immediately, law? yeah. Immediately after Bender says. Uh, we voters demand you release your Earth certificate so I, so I can then claim it's fake. Uh, <laughs> that's when Scoop Chang says, Scoop Chang, Fox quote-unquote news. <laughs> In the last 10 seconds, I've heard reports that you weren't actually born on Earth. <laughs> Here to evade these compelling charges. <laughs> well, and then, then the fact that they go, he was born in Kenya... Which, but it's okay because he's an it's Earth. earth. <laughs> yeah. Which I wonder if there's people watching this that didn't get that. I I got it. Oh, like they were waiting for Family Guy to start, and they're sitting through this. And, well, these uh, are the Comedy Central years, so they were uh, probably waiting for what, like South pa- South Park. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Um, but we want an Earthling, not a dirty space thing. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or even better, we we don't want a foreigner. We want someone I'm born, born here. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like. I wonder where those slogans come from. Like, do they just happen organically? I I mean, I just can't handle crowds or rallies or things like that. Anyway, despite my my leanings, it's hard for me to go out and you know show up to support yeah. because I get fucking terrified. Uh-huh. Um, 
so how does like the how do you get to the hell no we won't go sort of stuff or we're here we're queer we won't have any more bears uh i've only heard them in movies so a script writer yeah. writes them i've never in real life heard a protesting crowd chant something oh together. yeah that totally happened. Have, yeah. i've never yeah. heard it i've never yeah. done it i've never been to a protest so i can't I know, I'm just curious. I mean, I see reports of them on the news and things. Yeah, there's there's chanting. Yeah. I mean, like when they did the uh, what was it in in Paris with the World Women's World Cup? Mm -hmm. All those people just started shouting "fuck Trump" behind the <laughs> fucking guy from Fox <laughs> News. Like that happened organically. I guess that maybe that's what it is. They didn't think. Of, okay, when they put the camera on, we're all in a, like you know, it just takes one person. One, and two, then, three. Fuck yeah, Trump. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. Um, so, I mean, Leela's solution to all of this is going to the hospital to get the Earth certificate, even though Our Travers Lady explicitly of told her not to. Hospital in Kenya, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> um, <laughs> which, again, room full of paper files. Yep. Why? Yep. I don't even think when this came out, there were still paper files in hospitals. Oh, there's there were still paper files in hospitals until like two years ago. There still are. Well, I mean, I think there's still are some place still has paper files. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine. I was just. I went to the doctor today. I was handed a tablet to fill up questionnaires. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Huh. There. I mean, the, there's movement, but like, it's got to cost less than the paper. And until it does, that's what that's what's forcing it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Do you get to take? Do you use paper or not paper? You don't have to get into specifics, but it's just. Or do you not even take notes? You just, <laughs> just like, oh no, paper. Yeah. Paper. Everything. Is it everything's on paper. Everything's on paper. It's easier to but burn. the invoicing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we, that's really after the files, yeah. But the boss takes them home and burns them. Yeah, for, <laughs> do you keep them for a certain amount of time. What did what did what did you do to this thing? Uh, I don't know. That's, there was a fire, a very specific fire. I used to work for the OSU Veterinary Hospital, and what they would do with all of our like the dean's office shredded paper mm -hmm. they would use it as bedding for like the large animals for yep. the horses and the goats and whatever huh. they would just turn it into like toxic hay. paper no bedding like for the floor like instead of using wood shavings they would use newspaper is not paper toxic. paper no. bedding the ink paper is not, no, it's and not the toxic. bleach no it's not toxic mm -mm. it's okay it is mm -mm. it is i mean maybe not if they're using soy they're not now, eating it like it's it's they're just pooping and peeing on it and yeah. stuff, which it's is, not which is fine. It's, just, <laughs> it's not, they're not it's, they're feeding not, it's not, it Yeah, <laughs> it's bedding, not feed. I don't trust animals not to eat anything you put in front of them. You shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them will eat a lot of things yeah. that you put Most in front of them. Most of them, though, are ill and aren't eating anyway. So uh, Okay, fine. Yeah. I, just, I, I mean, I, I thought that, I guess hay is the food. Yes. Okay. Or wait, what's the, and straw. Straw is bedding. And hay is food. Hay is and food. And they but can tell the difference. Yes. <laughs> I wish I could. Um, but then again, I'm not a horse, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> um, I, the thing uh, that, that I really, really liked about it when they came, oh, so first of all, they, Bender does a really violent thing to a giraffe for them to sneak in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like awful where he, he pulled the neck back and then it swung forward like a catapult, smashed the window and then broke and knocked the head down and they just <laughs> crawled up the neck. Like that was that was really maybe one of the most violent things I've ever seen on this show. But um, the, the thing that I loved after they start looking for it, and, and I, I this is out of sequence, so I'm going to jump ahead a little bit, but like, they show the entrance to the hospital and it goes hospital entrance and then it says zebra entrance with a lion around the corner. Like it's a handwritten sign. It mm -hmm. was such a like far side gag. Like it was just a total like Gary Larson far side like reference and I loved it I so get it, much. Yeah. It, it's like the like the shitty Chick-fil-A commercials now <laughs> with the eat more, you know, eat more chicken type things with the cow cows are painting it, but this was this is better. Um did, did you have you watched documentary now at all? Yes. Yes. Did you see the one with the Gary Larson? Like, mm -hmm. the, 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 <laughs> that one like made me uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. Is that in the new season? Yeah. yeah. No, I haven't watched. Yeah, the new it's season like anymore. that Finding Mr. Watterson or whatever the Calvin and Hobbes documentary where the guy went to find Bill Watterson, but this is like Fred Armisen is like walking out on his wife and newborn baby to go track down Gary Larson from the far side who just like retired 25 years ago and, <laughs> and doesn't want to be found. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. It's, it's really like, it's, it's uncomfortable is a good word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah. So they. So how did they? How did they determine he was a time traveler? They're going through the files. Well, they see that he his birth certificate, Earth. Sorry, his Earth certificate is not in his file. And then he walks in and says, "I told you not to look for my Earth certificate." And they they see that in his file, his mother was admitted to the hospital that, that morning, day. and he won't be born until tomorrow. Again, that shit wouldn't be filed yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it would still be in the chart. Like, yeah. So, okay, but we'll suspend the disbelief for a little bit longer. Cartoon logic. Yeah, god damn it. Here we are again with that ne- shit. Never mind a, a person being sent back from the future. Yeah. Well, you expect that on this show. I'm like, that's, <laughs> you this, that. is, this is a science but, fiction fantasy show. The fucking hospital staff or any clerical but a staff paper being file. on top of filing. <laughs> paper the, file, let The alone. guards were like, what, rhinoceros or, or, yeah. or wildebeest or whatever with like flashlight noses. <laughs> Having worked in a number of different bureaucracies, I can tell you that a file being put in a paper filing cabinet as a final resting place on the day that it is created is highly unlikely, if not fucking patently impossible. Hmm. Just, just cause. I don't know. I don't use paper. Exactly. You write, <laughs> you just, you guys just write notes on people's skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We need a shopping list. All right, hang on. Zzz, zzz. Um, that would be great. You could just you could start a whole line of like ironic tattoos. Like, oh, I need to get toilet paper and milk. You'd and- probably make a ton of money right now mm-hmm. because the type of shitty tattoos that are popular <laughs> right now. I'll tell you what, uh, it happens. Um, so yeah, so they. they Travers was sent back to stop Nixon from the future, so that that was the whole point. Um, but what happened was Nixon builds the fence, it collapses the economy, and without aliens to to do menial tasks like pick cops, crops, teach math, and cure diseases, everything falls apart. <laughs> um, which is what they're trying to fucking do now. Jesus God, it's oh, it's. This, that's you know how I was talking about grinding my teeth earlier, Michelle. Yes, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> Just, a great gnashing of teeth, um, and then then because they run out of food, people get turned into the Soylent Majority. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's own followers. Like I love that the Soylent Majority, <laughs> which which is really the whole thing. It's like people voting against their interest and then getting fucked even harder, and still mm-hmm. not. They're just like, okay, now we're food, and they're fine with it apparently because well, they're dead. <laughs> um, but then BB Rodriguez <laughs> runs a robot <laughs> revolt, like. Again, just because he, he likes mayhem. He doesn't have a dog in the race. Just, ah, fuck it. Let's just let's Wait, mess things up. He's riding, what, what is the name of that robot? That was the robot from the wrestling episode. No, I don't uh, mm. Oh, shit. I don't, yeah, I don't Listen, remember either. Destructor. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, but then Bender becomes the ruler of Earth instead of Nixon. Yeah. But. But then the callback. So what? What was? I know a robot named Bender B. Rodriguez. <laughs> I am a robot <laughs> named B-B. Bender B. B. Rodriguez. <laughs> Rodriguez. So trying to remember, Fry has the tattoo of Bender on his butt. Inside the eye on Fry's Bender's butt tattoo is the time travel code, the zero one one zero 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 one. How did that get there again? Uh, Fry had it tattooed on his butt. I, I don't remember. It was. Bender had to go back in time and put it on Fry's butt. Yes, that's the only way we know how it got on his. Butt. Was it? And was it the 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 that was that the episode with his grandmother? No, that's no, the was, uh, movie, the first movie. Yeah. Oh right, okay. You see, I can't. This, this, <laughs> Bender's big score. So much to remember. Yeah. It is, and none of it matters. It's I mean, it's so convoluted. It's hard to keep track of. There's a lot of a lot of retcon and everything yeah. else. Um. So did anybody else notice when Travers jumps through the portal that he is dressed 100% like Doctor Who number 10? No. No, I didn't notice that at all. Oh, he's totally. He's got the blue suit, red tie, and red shoes. When they're all in the the cavern, like, jumping back. Yeah. So he goes back as a 15-year-old and starts in, like, high school, right? Yeah. And then, like, 
Uh, and he like, works his way up. His hair's all shaggy at that point. Yeah. Totally like David Tennant. <laughs> I did not notice that. I'm, it took I'm me three watches. And I'm awesome. like, holy shit. <laughs> Which I am definitely a Whovian, so. <laughs> it's a callback. We get it. It's like, I, did, I, I just haven't watched any Doctor Who, so like. Oh. So good. I, so you good. know, people tell me that, and I just, how about this? I'll watch Doctor Who. If you watch, I think you should leave. <laughs> or I okay, could put it fine. on my list. <laughs> <laughs> it took me. I I, did, I wasn't it, into it until Michelle I was, watched like the five entire, years ago, six years the ago. entire series of I think you should leave if you watch the entire series <laughs> of Doctor I Who. I won't yeah. live that long. You don't even have to go back. Just <laughs> no, from, just go back starting to, at nine. From nine, or, nine starting nine at nine. nine. Start, start with the the Eggleston yeah. season. There's oh. no reason to go any further back. <laughs> I mean, that's still a lot. Of I need life. to get Tom Baker about <laughs> it. I I watched it from beginning to end with my old roommate from like five years ago and it took us like from Thanksgiving until after Valentine's Day and this was like almost every day every yeah. weekend all day <laughs> I mean like I, I tried to rewatch the X-Files and it's like when when TV seasons had 22 episodes a year or twice oh, that it's yeah. just like I, I can't I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of trying to make it through all the X-Files I, <laughs> I, I can get through like yeah. the first season and it doesn't even pick, the like, first then season it's like, was rough <laughs> and, and then they don't even try and hide the height difference so like they get out of a car and David Duchovny is towering over Gillian Anderson <laughs> and they, they they dress her up like she's at the mall with well, the, like, because the glasses. Because she was, she was pregnant. In those early episodes? In the early, well, I think it was the end of season one or season two. She got pregnant, so they dressed her in like those weird, gigantic oh. trench coats and like man pantsuits so that it would hide her well, It wasn't baby even mom. that. It was more like her haircut and her glasses. Like she had like, I mean, she looked like an extra from Heather's. Basically, I mean, in it some was of those early 1990 episodes. or yeah. something. So, <laughs> also, you're like, I'm, I'm currently re watching Veronica Mars before I watch the new season, yeah. and those are like 21 episodes for yeah. a season. Those, like, the story arc and like episodes back then are things that happen in like three seasons and shows now. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's a you can't, bin, you don't, they weren't set up for binge watching, right. Mm-hmm. So you, you like you can't, you can't you can't binge watch twenty one episodes. I mean you you can you can but it's but it's not, you look I mean technically binging anything isn't healthy. Like, <laughs> I, I noticed <laughs> that's that, true. I noticed that when I was watching uh, rewatching all of Ally McBeal, I was like, man, this was like <laughs> like a whole season's worth of story just happened in like three episodes, <laughs> and I got like twelve more episodes in. Was that an hour long show? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. But of <laughs> 20 had, minutes was the dancing baby. It had, <laughs> yeah, it had tons of commercials, so it's really only like 40 minutes. Right. Well, I mean. Yeah. Um, well, so, yeah, so they sent him back, right? And then the, he wins. Like, he actually wins the election. Um, <laughs> Because yeah, everyone they, watches his birth. Yeah, everybody. So they yeah. all know, <laughs> they know that he, he was is. born Linda's on Linda's down here at the pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Morbo down there at the Pevis. Yeah. Which, how do they convince oh, folks mother. around these parts <laughs> are saying it's been a long time since they've seen a senator witness his own birth? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, and it's I think Linda him, like, also home. was like, be careful down there. So yeah. they like that. Because <laughs> well, there's people start throwing elbows. There's There's stuff that comes out. It's. Whew, it's a thing. Um. <laughs> but yeah, the, the the thing I knew, I just, I had the feeling as soon as they took the picture of him holding himself, that there's <laughs> going to be some kind of paradoxical chair yeah, action yeah. to this. It's just, this is a bad scene. And, uh, but because he won, he negated the robot uprising. <laughs> and so he wasn't born. And then it all fell a fucking apart. He oh, he was up. born, but he wasn't sent back to the yeah the past. Was, was Well, okay, because he was born in the current, time but yeah he was he was born and then sent back in time but 15 years later he was never sent so back. yeah he was never sent back because nixon oh god every time time travel because he time. won yeah but then because he wasn't there anymore nixon becomes president again so it, it's just gonna wouldn't be a, a big loop. circle yeah, yeah. They, I, well, everyone's uh, gonna die <laughs> yeah nixon always wins unless they use the time travel where it creates a alternate timeline where this would be the timeline where he rules as president and that never happens. But him going back, it was a different timeline. Uh, well, but that was like the Avengers. 15, well, okay. Come on, Pete, it's politics 101. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, you know, first you take the butt gig, 
<laughs> then you then you have to send it to the Titleist school. Brett Ball gag, right? <laughs> Jesus. That's, that sounds like a jerky boy's f- alias, doesn't it? Brett Ball gag. <laughs> I ordered a pizza. Where's my damn pizza? Oh. Uh, also, also, at the end, he's just like, they're all like, oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Too bad about uh, what's Senator, his name? what's his name? <laughs> we never left the building. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I mean, so, but, but, and then is the, I, I guess, uh, oh God, I'm going to, I'm going to try and parse this whole paradox thing out again. And it's going to make my fucking head hurt. Um, so he vanishes because he was never sent back from the future because he beat Nixon which negated the robot uprising so that he wasn't sent back from the future. Right. But when he negated himself and disappeared, then Nixon won anyway. Does that which just mean Which is why that- he got sent back to win. To be so, so he will always be, be sent uprising. back. Yeah, he yeah. will always oh be sent God. back, but he no. can never win. He will always Damn it. be... You no, know, he will always be sent back. He will always win. But and then but he's he going to disappear. The second he wins. And yeah. so it will uh, always happen Because he would way. not have needed to be sent back. Yeah. Son mm-hmm. of a bitch. I can't. I can't. That's why time travel doesn't work. How many episodes do we have left? (laughs) Uh, Few. Unless you, (laughs) unless you do the nasty and the pasty. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I prefer not to. It's that's. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna. The next time you guys come over, my teeth are gonna be ground down into little stumps. (laughs) Um, Any. Any final thoughts on this one? I, I was just really like, this was like an episode of Black Mirror, basically. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, it was really just so dead on to the shit that's actually happening. It was, it was it, disturbing. Did you have anything else in your notes that you wanted to bring up? <laughs> yeah. Cause, well, there was one other thing early on that Zoidberg had said that I felt also really applied to mm-hmm. the apathetic voters nowadays. There was, oh, he might not be perfect, but we really don't want an, any unknown new guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll stick with the evil maniac that I know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is terrifying. And I have heard my friends say very similar things. <laughs> uh, but why? Scary. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. The evil you know yes. it's uh, it could get worse is what they're saying it has it, it, i don't think it can <laughs> it, oh it can it but it can. already has and they're like it could mm-hmm. it, it you know it could i mean it can always get we're really fucking concentration camps yeah for children and yeah. it's just i mean it's just fuck <laughs> oh also one of the uh nations supporting travers was ihio yeah, little, little I e- saw that H- in, the, I- in the crowd was at that, the. Uh, was that in one? Uh, there, I thought that was something that came up previously, like when the there was like it was. I, I think it was it during the episode where Bender, the gender Bender, gen, gender Bender episode where he was the female Olympian. Maybe. Was that like That's one of the maybe. other? Yeah, because they of got the other countries or whatever. Because a bunch states. of a bunch of states changed their name because there's twenty four bit Colorado. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is there? Uh, East West Virginia, yeah. Ohio, um, High Cal, I Iowa, which is like little I, big O. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there was High Cal, Low Cal, uh, Penn Republic, and then Sylvania, <laughs> Texachusetts. Texachusetts. Uh, <laughs> User ID a ho. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like user, oh, user ID, ID. Oh, colon A H O. Uh Washington. <laughs> 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 and then Y Omega which or Y it's W Y Omega sign I N G for Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> or Ohm, okay. So but, Wyoming. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh dear. Nuke Vada too. Nuke Vada? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's, isn't that where <laughs> Fry's grandfather was? That's that's where they Oh God. Yep. Terrible. Another time um, traveling episode. It is. I hope there aren't many more of these because it like I have a headache now. Like it just it it I don't like feeling stupid. It's just very confusing. <laughs> and it's we're doing this at night and it's been a long day and I had a headache all day anyway. It doesn't doesn't work. Um, you know, really, a lot of the next ones are not anything that's like uh, 
socially based almost like really like yeah the, a lot of them are just kind of ridiculous because you got uh one where bender becomes a uh folk singer you get one where didn't uh, that happen already it's the beck episode that yeah. no yeah so similar of. yeah it's similar, it's similar, similar but it's not yeah. the same episode um and then you get there's a couple other ones where they're where they're like the few different storylines like we just did yeah. with uh reincarnation or whatever okay all right um, i mean just I, the time and then there's one of my, my favorite episodes really? of the entire seasons that's like one of the it's the third to last episode ever it's called murder on planet yeah Express. that one's really good <laughs> oh yeah we can finish on a high note <laughs> I mean, the last episode of the season is a high note. It is. I absolutely yeah. think so, so. All right. Actually, the last we're we're we've got most a good of run. Them are good. Most okay. of them are good. This is it's just the I just as long as there's no They're more different. Katie Seagal, <laughs> no more time travel. I'll be. Uh, well, sorry for you. There is <laughs> <laughs> both of those things. <laughs> Son of a bitch. There it, is specifically in the last episode. It is <laughs> shit tons of time travel. So <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it Katie Seagal singing time travel? And then the opposite of time travel. What's that? You'll see when we get oh, to it. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, Literally the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I oh god, don't you'll find out. No spoilers, please. I I'll get there organically, just like a fuck Trump chant or some other weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you for coming on the show. Do you, yes, I, do you, you have anything that you? I mean, do you want people to find you on the internet, or do you want people to not find you on the internet? <laughs> like, uh, know, yeah. Maybe. maybe no. <laughs> I mean, do you have a particular like cause that you could have people make donations to or something? Just. Well, not really. Well, okay. <laughs> it's uh, like sometimes you can, you can give people 10 different ways to find you on the internet, and sometimes they just won't do it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't find me. <laughs> <laughs> he just, you laid out a challenge now. You know what? It's, it's, it's great to have a, a guest on that's like a genuine fan yeah. of the show because. Um, you well, know, I they, mean, last week we had someone they on don't who, need to promote it. who didn't know the show at all. So it's a good mm-hmm. contrast. Yeah. It's, it's fun times all around. Um, on on that note, how can people find us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Facebook, Instagram, the internet, we're there. Slurmcast Pod. You can call uh, us two one six four three eight ten seventy seven. Slurmcast Pod at gmail dot com. Slurmcast dot com. Uh, rate and review on iTunes. Um. Listen, you guys know how to use the internet. You like mm-hmm. Futurama. And if you're you listening know to how this point, Google you works. know how to find us. You're already listening to us, so, yeah. or you forgot that you subscribed. Either way, you can still, I mean, you can find us. We put links in the show notes and whatever. But we appreciate you listening anyway. So have Do me a, a favor. Uh, just subscribe. You don't even have to listen. Yeah. Just subscribe. Look, we don't have a Patreon. <laughs> we don't have, we we're, don't. we're not reading out commercials for hymns.com halfway through the episode. We do this for you for free. If we bring up butt stuff, it's just because of enthusiasm, not because we're getting paid to talk about it. There's no adamandeve.com promo code for Slurmcast. But try it anyway. It probably works. <laughs> Go ahead, use the root car insurance app. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what else? Yeah, what, what? Um, MyPillow.com. If you're listening, I'd love to, to you could be uh, one of our advertisers. If you're not on your eighth Audible subscription by now, <laughs> check that out. Free audio book. Right. All right. Hey, so uh, thanks for listening. We'll, we'll have another one out soon. Bye. 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 Bye.